Hi, my name is Sebastian Matteau and in today's video I would like to show you how you can install Rapunzel through Anaconda. Now, what is Rapunzel? First things first. Uh, Rapunzel is a code editor or a programming editor or an integrated development environment, IDE, if you will, uh, focused on numerical computing with Python and R. So if you're doing a lot of data analysis with Python or with R or with a combination of both like I do, um, then Rapunzel offers you a lot of convenient tools to do that, which I will show in different videos. In this video, I will show how you can install it through Anaconda. And what is Anaconda? Anaconda is a Python and R distribution. Uh, sounds a little bit abstract, but you can think of it as a way to conveniently manage packages for Python and R. Uh, and Rapunzel is simply one of those packages. It's a Python package. So here we have the homepage of Rapunzel, uh, rapunzel.coxi.nl, right? Rapunzel as in the fairy tale character, .coxi, cognitive science.nl, the Dutch domain. And let's click on, on download because that's what we want to do. Then under download, you see a few options. As I said, we will focus on actually installing it through Anaconda, but there are also other options. If you're running Windows, um, then uh, you can download uh, basically a binary file, an exe installer or a zip, and then you extract the zip or you install the exe file and you will have Rapunzel. Uh, uh, you can just start it. I don't think that requires a lot of explanation. Under Ubuntu, you have a PPA, a repository uh, that you can install Rapunzel from. But my preferred um, way to install Rapunzel, and it's also cross-platform, so this will work on Windows, Mac OS, and Linux, is through Anaconda. So first things first, we need to download Anaconda. So here, open link a new tab. So if, uh, if you go to the download page of Anaconda, my internet connection is a bit slow, I'm on mobile internet actually. Um, you see Anaconda Individual Edition, download, we'll scroll down, and you see I'm on Linux right now, so it will point me towards the Linux installer. If you're on macOS, you get a macOS installer, which is a .pkg file. And on Windows, you will have a .exe installer. Um, in all cases, you can install it. And let's assume that that's what you're going to do now. I have already installed Anaconda actually on my computer. So I will just uh, point you in this, uh, in this direction. But okay, so you install and you download in Anaconda from the Anaconda page, you install it, and then you will have an Anaconda prompt at your disposal. How? Depends on the operating system. On Windows, you will have an Anaconda prompt in the start menu. On macOS, you will have it as an application, I believe. And on Linux, actually, just when you start a terminal, you will have the Anaconda prompt immediately. Um, so let's up, move this aside. I will switch back, back to the download page. And here I have a terminal. Um, a Linux terminal, but if you start the Anaconda prompt from, uh, from Windows, you can do the same things that I'm going to do here now. And you see that it says base. What does that mean? Base is the name of, a, of an Anaconda environment. So Anaconda has what, it's, what are called environments, and an environment is sort of a particular set of packages that are active at one time. So you can create different packages. For example, say what I'm going to do now is install all kinds of packages for Rapunzel. I will create its own environment to do that. Um, but say that you want to sometimes also work with different, uh, different, some kind of different uh, uh, software and it requires a different set of uh, uh, packages and maybe they are actually conflicting even with the packages that you need for Rapunzel, then you would create a different environment. And you can sort of switch from one environment to the next. They're kind of almost like folders with different uh, packages in them. Uh, but now I'm working in the, uh, in the base environment. So the first thing that I'm going to do is actually create a new environment, especially for Rapunzel. So I'm going to say conda. Um, conda is the command to interact with Anaconda in general. It has a lot of th things in it, uh, like tools for installing packages. And I will say conda create. Uh, that means I'm going to create a new environment. Uh, Hash, uh, hyphen n to give it a name, and I call it my Rapunzel env, the name of the environment, not the name of the package that you're going to install. And then the version of Python that I want to use, Python equals 3.7. So what this will do, it will create an almost empty environment that already has Python 3.7 installed. Up, oh, I will do that. Okay, there we are. It took a minute or so, but now we have, a, we have an empty environment based on Python 3.7 and the environment is called my Rapunzel env. Now, then Conda already basically tells us what we need to do, namely activate this environment. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to say Conda activate uh, my Rapunzel env. 
And then you will see that the thing that set base before now says my Rapunzel, Rapunzel env indicating that I'm in the Rapunzel environment. And now this is where I'm going to install all the packages that I need. Then um, Anaconda has the concept of channels and channels are kind of like play stores, sources of packages and libraries. Um, and there are a few default pack is, uh, sources that are always used by Anaconda, but Rapunzel requires two additional ones, namely uh, the Coxi and the Conda Forge channel. And here on the documentation, it's actually explained how you add these uh, channels to your Anaconda. So you say Conda config config add channels Coxi, and then again add channels Conda Forge. Up. Once I've done that, it says actually they already exist because I've done this before. But if you haven't done this before, it means that now whenever you try to install it, uh, 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 Conda will search through the Coxi and the uh, Conda Forge uh, uh, channels. And now what we can do is simply say install Rapunzel. Conda install Rapunzel. This will take a while again. Um, so what I will do is execute it. Up and then we'll get back to you when it's actually done. All right, there we are. Took two, three minutes or so, and now we have Rapunzel installed. Now, how can you now start Rapunzel? The easiest way, the most convenient way, is just to type Rapunzel here in your terminal, in the, in the Conda, uh, Anaconda prompt. I should point out that this works because the my Rapunzel env is activated. So say that I would close this, this terminal and I would start a new Anaconda prompt or a new terminal. I would be in my base environment, and Rapunzel is not in the base environment, so it won't be found. You actually have to conda activate my Rapunzel env again in order to uh, start uh, Rapunzel. Um, so let's see how what it looks like. Oh, I start it. There we go. And then you will get a very sweet uh, code editor for numerical computing in Python and R. The first time that you actually start it might take a little while, but there we are. Rapunzel, get started. Well, I hope uh, in next videos I will show a little bit more about how Rapunzel works, but now at least you know how to get it. Thank you very much.